Welcome to the Third Wind channel. Today, we're going to be ranking the characters of Superbad, a super funny movie that I think has gone down as uh, a classic. Uh, that's where I stand on that, at least. And today, I'm going to be ranking you know, top 10 characters, and I'll be listing a few honorable mentions. And without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, my first honorable mention is... Um, the Driver. I forget his name actually right now, but I think it's he's funny. He, you know, he's I, I label him as the ultimate loser, and um, he creates a, quite an interesting story. But you 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 can't like the character. He you know he he's just eh. You know he, he's the kind of guy you don't want to be friends with. I don't know. At least that's how I, I feel about his character. And then we can choose his next uh you know his uh close friend mark next with the i think incredibly funny brazil football or soccer shirt on which is i th I think it's really really funny and you know how aggressive he is and how he picks a fight immediately and he, he serves as a pretty fun villain in the movie a little bit of chaos and unpredictability and the whole girlfriend thing was quite interesting uh moving on to our final final honorable mention we have nicole uh, Ogles or McLovin's uh, crush he almost gets with at the end if it wasn't for his cock blocking uh, cop friends but you know nonetheless she she deserves an honorable mention as she's a pretty big character in the movie or not pretty big she's a side character uh, but you know without further ado let's get into the, the juicy the top 10 uh, and at number 10 we have none other than Greg, the soccer player, played by Dave Franco. And I thought that the short performance in this movie was so funny. I had to include it in the top ten, you know, his devotion to the soccer game that he has to say to Seth that, um, bro, get off the pitch, we're down two points. And, and then the little FUs to each other thing. Oh, man, it's so funny. I, I can't get enough of it. I know that he's not really a character in the movie, but, you know, I'm sure someone could write, like, a spin-off about Greg the soccer player. Uh, moving on, in number nine, in a similar fashion to Greg, I have Homeless Guy. Uh, actually, you know what? Homeless Guy goes up to number eight, and alcohol store clerk, the liquor store clerk guy, <laughs> who runs into Seth, who knocks over a bunch of beers, they spill on the ground. He he comes and sees Seth with the beer spilled on the ground, and he said, and the, the clerk goes, was that you? And he goes, no, but you should really clean this up so he gets seriously hurt. And then he goes, fuck my life. <laughs> and that's part of the movie. Yep. Every single time. I, I've seen this movie three or four times, and I, it cracks me up every time. And just that single line is enough to put him in the top ten for me. And moving on, I have made a last minute change. I think Homeless Guy deserves the 8th spot just because he's a little bit more prominent in the movie and his performance as this drunk, angry man was perfect. I thought it was really good and the fact that they meet him at the bar, McLovin, you know, quote unquote, takes him down and then after that, he meets him in the bus on the way to the party and he says, McMuffin. And you know what happens next. I, I just think he's a hilarious character. And you're kind of built to hate him, but he's just so funny. Uh, and moving on, number seven, we have Becca, who, I don't know, is, is you know, he's Evan's crush, I guess. And um, I think there are some interesting dynamics there and, and um, kind of... I don't know what to say. She's just kind of eh. It's seven, I think, is right. Um, not as epic as some of the characters we've had already. I just realized this now. But moving on, number six, we have Officer Officer Michaels, played by Seth Rogen. Um, Officer Michaels is, you know what? I'll bring out Officer Slater next as well, so I can talk about why I put one over the other. First of all, let's say let's start off with Officer Slater being a much cooler name than Officer Michaels. That's for one. Number two, I thought Bill Hader's performance was quite a bit better and a lot more convincing as that kind of, I don't know, dad cop thing. And 
I don't know, Seth Rogen was just Seth Rogen, right? But the combo was good, and most importantly, I think Officers later had a slightly better chemistry with Vogel, which I thought was really fun. Uh, but very funny characters. Uh, I really enjoy them, especially Officer Slater. Moving on, we have our top four characters here now. Who's going to be number four? Evan. Evan is... Uh, I, I mean, I, you could really just say it's Michael Sarah playing Michael Sarah like he is in every movie, but it fits perfectly into this movie. And he plays the best friend of, of Seth. I'd say our main character, and I I just really like how he can be passive aggressive sometimes. I also really like the dynamic of the friendship. Like, you know, he doesn't want to tell Seth that he's gonna be rooming with Fogel and all this, and just all the interactions between Seth and um, Evan are really fun. Uh, and I think he's <laughs> really funny when he's running away from the cops. He's kind of weird running and a. Uh, fun scenes and you know he turns out to be a really good guy and he doesn't want to engage with uh, Becca because she's drunk too much so that I mean that's shows some honor well but I'll talk a little bit more about Evan when we get to Seth and at number three we have Jules I think Jules is a pretty a more accurate representation of a teenage girl maybe other than the age of the actress playing Emma, uh, Emma Stone uh, but, you know, not all of them are super crazy and party party, you know, a lot of them are more like hipstery and, you know, just really nice. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I just thought that this role, this character was played just a lot more accurately than some of the other movies that are in the same genre. And, uh, she's, she's a really likable character. And in the end, she agrees to, to, um, you know hang out with Seth even after what happened. Uh, and I think she said very reasonable things at the end when Seth finally got to her and she didn't drink and she just wanted to have a good party and surround herself with people that were her friends. So, I don't know. She's a really good character. Likeable. Uh, and then we got her top two. And as much as I love McLovin, I have to put him at number two. Uh, but he is a he is a legend. He is a meme. He is the ultimate Chad, and he you know he's the only one of the three friends who's shot a gun as well. And I don't know, he's just got ultimate Chad energy. He took out homeless guy. Uh, despite the jokes, I think McLovin's really fun. I like how they gave power to the quote unquote nerd. I think Fogel's cooler than they. Let, let him out to be at the end he really gets his gusto and um i think that it showed how in one night someone can become so much braver i don't know i thought that was interesting um and i love the scene where he's in you know he gets the fake id and he goes into the liquor store really fun and probably the most fun thing about um Vogel is his interaction of course with Seth. And oh my god, does he get bullied. <laughs> but it's funny, and I don't think Fog Fogel takes it too personally. Uh, moving on, we have... Oops. We have our number one pick, Seth. And Seth didn't necessarily need to be the best character in the movie, um, but the way they wrote him and the small nuances that they did made him... Definitely my number one. I think he is probably the funniest character in the movie. Just his jokes and um, just really um, visual descriptions of things. Which is a bit over the top and uh, and um, we could make many, many people uncomfortable. But I thought it was really funny. And obviously there's the really famous uh, drawing uh, Queenie scene. And... Um, I really like how there was a theory spread around about how Seth could be, uh, you know, actually, I don't know, bisexual or in, in love with his best friend. At the end, that escalator scene looking at, at each other and then all of his comments about, uh, you know, how, you know, about the female anatomy. And he's like, hmm, maybe not for me, man. Just looking at this doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Um, 
you know, it spreads all these kind of uh, theories that maybe he was written as a bi character that he's kind of discovering himself. So and that brings me to the point of a lot of these characters. You know, you get this uh, short, um, mo not movie, but short period of time in the movie where you see people grow and you see people's characters through dramatic situations and what they would do when worse comes to worse. And I think that, that that's why this movie is so good. And of course, it's super funny. Um, but it also has... The, a re the reason why Seth is number one is because I think his character is the most interesting out of all of them. It's the one which you could sit and really analyze and, and um, look at why he behaves the way he does. And I think there's a lot of depth in his character, unlike Evan, for example. I think there's less depth. But with that being said... Uh, that was a little too deep, um, but uh, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video and, uh, you know, suggest another movie you might want to see uh, characters ranked in and check out our other content. We have a lot of stuff, movies and TV series, and um, that's it for now. Drop a subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you guys soon.